Hi Aquarius and welcome to your tarot love readings. We are going to be taking a look at the energies of your special someone and see what is it that he or she may hold as their biggest regret with regards to your romantic connection. As always guys, these readings are general so please be mindful of that throughout the spread. If you are interested in a more personalized tarot reading, please feel free to inquire with me. I will list my email address just below the video where the show more section is along with all the different types of readings that I offer and you'll find that a personalized tarot spread is going to resonate with you more closely. So the reading here is intended for Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising and for those of you cross-watching. Let's see what messages are coming in for you here. Let's go ahead and take a look at these messages here. Okay, the harp and just ripped out here. Okay. Death, temperance, and the nine of wands. Wow. Okay, quite a quite a heavy energy. Definitely a lot of regrets here. A lot of regrets. First and foremost, I feel like things have ended between you and this person. Um, however, the death card doesn't give me a sense of finality. Okay. Um, it feels like for some of you, although things have ended. Um, for a lot of you, I feel like there will be an opportunity to reconcile and uh, but begin things in a new way because where there is death, there is also rebirth. Where there is an end, there is also a new beginning. Okay, maybe not necessarily with the same person, um, but I, I feel like you will you will have the chance to love again here, Sagittarius. Okay, so uh, when it comes to their biggest regrets here, I definitely see that they're making peace. Okay, they're making peace with what has happened. They may still be going through the process. They may still be going through the motions here. But I definitely see that it was a bit of an emotional, turbulent uh, situation. Um, you were, the two of you might have been on a bit of an emotional roller coaster. With a Hierophant, he's a man of, you know, good virtue, of forgiveness, humility, um, kindness, generosity. Um, so this person... This person feels as though maybe they should have been a little bit more forgiving in their ways. Or maybe this person should have tried a little bit harder. Okay, Maybe there was something here that they've done to hurt you. Um, maybe there was something here that they've said or done that might have hurt you. Or might have even you know, damaged or ruined the connection here. But this person feels as though they weren't apologetic enough. You know, um, It's not that they don't feel remorseful. They do. But they feel like... They could have done so much more. They could have said more. They could have done more. They could have showed you more love, more respect, more attention. Especially for the way things ended here. Even after things ended, this person feels as though they probably should have fought harder for you. Um, or they probably should have tried harder. They are, as I've mentioned, I feel like they are coming to terms with what has happened here. They are slowly trying to make peace with the situation. They're trying to heal though. They are trying to heal... Um, but I can see there's like there's this there's this heaviness that sits with them with them here, and it's about them not doing enough, or them not possibly being enough, or them not doing all that they can to have maybe rescued the connection. With death, I do feel like there is um, you guys were very very instrumental here. You played a very significant role in each other's life because. This connection is very powerful. I feel like it's a twin flame connection here. It really does to me because I feel like you have helped each other grow in the good times and in the not so good times as well. This has been very transformative for either yourself or your special someone. Better yet, I feel like for the both of you, it's, it's a very powerful connection. It feels very... Um, yeah, it feels very transformative. It feels like you, you you underwent transitions, transformations here, rebirths, new cycles, ending cycles. Um, there was a lot of lessons, especially a lot of spiritual lessons, even about you know the self here. So I can see it was very very powerful. I do feel like I do feel like yeah, this person does regret how things have ended here, and they do regret. They probably regret not, you know, not trying hard enough with you. But I feel like this person is trying to make peace with the situation. Okay, they're harboring regrets, but this is someone who also understands that, you know, it, 
Yes. Like what could have been, maybe should have been, but it would have been sort of thing. So, yeah, I feel like this person is trying to heal from the hurt, the pain, um, just the, the, the ending of it all. You were very much a shining light in their lives, he said. You really were. Now, with the Knight of Wands, um, a non-committal type of energy. So, yeah, they re definitely regret not committing to you here. Okay? Maybe this person was a fluctuating presence in and out of your life. Maybe this person, you know, um, maybe the two of you started out on a casual arrangement and maybe you turned around and you wanted for it to be... To for it to be something a little bit more, a little bit more committed. And maybe this person didn't give you that. So look, they do have regrets, but looking looking back on it, they they definitely wouldn't they're glad they met you. They're glad they met you. You know, if given the chance, they'd probably do it all over again is what I'm seeing. Maybe not the you know the painful part of this, but they definitely get the chance to know you and they definitely get the chance to do it all again here with you. Um, but yeah, they just regret maybe playing around, messing around behind your back, just being in and out, um, up and down, on and off kind of energy, um, not being stabilized here for you. Let's just go ahead and just uh, pull out a few more clarifying cards here. Okay, yep, so with the Hierophant and the Four of Swords, um, there's something here they kept to themselves, and I feel like it was an apology, it was words left unsaid, this is possibly one of their biggest regrets here, okay, because something here they've kept internally, and it's still, it still lingers on their mind, and it's still, uh, it still bothers them, something here that they should have said to you, but they held back, I feel like it's trying to seek for your forgiveness, or trying to make a pen, uh, sorry, amends, or trying to apologize for something, with death and the ace of pentacles here, this person would want to, ex uh, they'd like, they'd like to extend themselves out to you, possibly again in the future, um, if given the chance, they would definitely revisit the connection, and perhaps do things a little differently this time, I can see that, you know, there's definitely been a lot of um, a lot that has happened here that has definitely shaped them into the person that they are today. There's been a lot of growth here, is what I'm seeing, and I feel like uh, if the two of you were to reconcile, this person can offer you commitment the second time around, or this person can be a lot more stabilized in their emotions and a lot more committed here. Uh, with Temperance and the Nine of Pentacles, during the whole healing process, I can see that they have been really working on themselves here. Um, a lot of a lot of focusing on themselves, healing their hurts, um, but just also building upon themselves. They, like I said, they do have regrets, but they're not tearing themselves down about it. They understand, you know, it's human to have regrets. Everyone harbors regrets in, you know, one way or another about one thing or another. So they get that, Sagittarius. And with the Knight of Wands and the Five of Swords here, again, there's this sense of dishonesty. I don't feel like this person wasn't entirely honest with you. Okay, maybe they might have been, you know, their fecal nature suggests to me here that they might have been, they're a very flighty presence and therefore they might have been in a relationship with someone else or they might have liked to have kept their field open just to see, you know, what other options are available to them or just to see whether, you know, there are, are greener pastures elsewhere. But I also feel like they weren't, because the Knight of Wands is such an, like an emotionally scattered energy, like he's all fired up, you know, he's all ready to go, he's, um, he, he, he acts and then he thinks later. So this person regrets probably not being honest with their emotions as well. Um, they definitely regret, you know, rushing through this connection and not treating this more seriously because um, they see that you were one of a kind here, Sagittarius, and they see that you deserve so much more. Um, I, I, I get a sense, for some of you, I get a sense that maybe it's a little too late on your part here, Sagittarius. Um, maybe you just felt like you did love them, but they just belong to a certain chapter of your life and you're ready to move on. Because I, I do feel like with the death card, you know, this is, things end, but they begin a new, new way. So for a lot of you Sagittarius, I feel like you're willing to leave this person behind. You will, maybe you will always love them. I mean, they were a big part of, or a very significant part of your life here, but I feel like you're ready to, you know, move on and find new love again. And for others, I feel like there there is still hope. For those of you that possibly want to revisit this connection, um, I do feel like there is still hope. Uh, 
Okay, and that is your spread, guys. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting, or sharing. I am going to be uploading um, more tarot love readings uh, throughout the week, so stay tuned. Thanks again for your support. Bye for now.